Okay, well here's the setup. This is our pro body, which is this one I've got. We're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of old school, a little bit of new school here by comparison. This is our uh, the bottoms of one of them, so this would be this unit upside down. So we're looking at where the probe's gonna come out. We need three 632 adjustment screws in here equally spaced around them. So what I'm going to do is I've got Mach 3 opened up on the CNC and I've got my probe set up to show one of the uses of this probe. And what we're going to do is to probe this to find the center of this hole. Then we're going to manually index them off the three and we're just going to run that off of our digital readout. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and jog it back so we're pretty much in line with where we need to be. And that's not too far off. Let's see if we can get us down into the hole here. Okay, so that's about where we're going to start off our probing routine, and it'll find the exact center of that. And what's going to happen is when we start this routine, it's asked for part diameter. Uh, the hole diameter is approximately 0 0.8. Well, it's actually 0 0.8109 according to this after I've already probed this once. And to get it to run, all we're going to do is push the center hole, and that should get us going into our holes here. So now, just that easily, we found the center of our part of the center of our hole. Here's our digital readout. This is a Schumatech digital readout. I've run these on machines before. You know, we can. I'm still running them. They work well for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot our bolt circle around here. Just three holes. We just want three points to adjust this on. So the way we set this up is uh, it's a function three for a bolt hole circle. Number of holes. We want three of them. Do an enter. Radius uh, is a 0.585. Enter. Start at zero. Enter. We'll end at zero. So there we're set up. Okay, so let's just do a dry run. Um, the actual plotting of that is a function four. Hole one. Enter. Now we're in incremental mode. So our top two, our X and Y, are the only axes we're interested in. The, the uh, Z is just where it's at. So uh, for all intents and purposes, that should be a zero on top, and we're just moving the, the top. We'll go ahead and set it to zero, and go back to zero. And if we plot that, plotted that right, there's our first hole right there. And all we're going to do is just mark them just to verify where they're where they go. Enter again will take us to our second hole. There's our coordinates for that. We'll zero here. Enter again will give us our third hole. There's our coordinates for it. Nope, wrong one. And this will be our third hole. Right there. I don't know how well that shows up on the camera, but our holes all look equidistant. So I think that's fine. Let's run that program one more time. Actually, we can... Uh First hole is drilled, 
I don't think I'm going to worry about tapping these in the machine, although I may. We'll see. We may go back and countersink them and do that. Takes up the hole too. That gives us our coordinates. Now this could just as easily have been done with CNC. I just didn't feel like taking the time to program it in. Plus this gives you a little view of a couple of different ways to do things. Enter. That'll give us hole three. See if we're back to our coordinates where we want to be. That should put us where we want to be for our third hole. Okay, there we go. And enter. That's that's returned us back to normal incremental mode and kicked us out of that bolt hole circle. So to get back to the bolt hole circle, if we would go back to zero zero, that will put us right back in the center of our part. See, back centered up again. Now, days past, the easy way to do this, or the common way to do it, probably would have been on a rotary table, is the way it would have would have been done. Could have been done in a lathe um, by indexing off of, well, on a little atlas lathe, could have been done off the index wheel on the main bull gear. Um, on most of the other lathes, it could have, uh, crude way would have been due to... Uh, index it off your three jaw chuck and then have a either a Dremel or something like that mounted in your tool post offset at the proper amount and you can go ahead and drill your coals if you're careful and calculate it that way but anyway the three common ways to do it would have been on a rotary table and for me both the CNC could have cut it just as easily as, as doing it with the digital readout and then the digital readout did it in this case. You burr these holes and tap them and then we'll do the other one while we've got the setup here and this part of the project will be good to go.